Hi, I'm Constantine with Partnering 360 here in Turin, 2014, speaking with Michael Crowley of Genentech. Hello. Good morning. Thanks for spending some time with us this morning. Oh, I'm happy to be here. Thanks for inviting me. So let's take a few minutes and describe your background uh, and also your role within the Genentech group. Yeah, sure. So my background educationally is primarily in the sciences, which is not uncommon for the Genentech business development group where I work now. Um, I was an undergraduate in chemistry, and then I got very interested in immunology and ended up applying only to graduate school for immunology and did a graduate degree uh, in, in immunology. And then um, after that, I decided to kind of move away from the bench and um, worked for a small company that was developing a couple of um, drugs in, clinically, in clinical development. Um, and uh, had a chance to work as a project manager there and get some clinical operations experience and see sort of how, you know, really how drugs are developed. I mean, it really, I think that was invaluable experience to, to get a chance to essentially dabble in that for a couple years. Uh, and then I, as a business school student, I ended up getting um, uh, introduced to the Genetic Business Development Group and did a summer internship, came back um, right after the internship and got hired on full time. And now, 10 years later, I'm still working with that group and, and really enjoying it. I, I run a team that supports immunology partnering and also partnering in, in infectious disease. There's, there are three of us in total. Okay. So since the merger with Roche in what, 2009, right. how is the Genentech uh, BD unit organized? Where's, how does it fall within the larger group? Yeah, no, it's such a good question. So, Genentech Partnering, the group that I work in, is the legacy business development group at Genentech, and we continue to support Genentech's R&D group, which is known as Genentech Research and Early Development. So Genentech Research and Early Development, they're responsible for developing drugs from discovery through uh, clinical proof of concept, and we uh, help them do outreach. Uh, I think the interesting thing in the Roche group is, is that there are two R&D units. You know, there's Genentech's Research and Early Development Group, and then there's Roche's Research and Early Development Group. And the way um, that those groups operate is entirely independent from one another. And the goal is for Roche to have a diversity of scientific approaches as we pursue you know, novel therapies. And so what's interesting is, is that even in areas where we have a common interest, say oncology or neuroscience, the research groups may not pursue diseases the same way. And that's reflected actually in the fact that we do different business development deals. And each of those research groups can use its business development arm to reach out to the community and, and, and strike a, a deal. Um, but what's interesting is we, you know, we do collaborate with our partnering colleagues at Roche, and there are instances where we may have a common interest in a particular technology or some kind of um, drug development um, approach, and uh, we'll work together and we'll bring it into the Roche group uh, as opposed to into one of the research and development units exclusively. So we did that recently with a deal um, with a company called OMT, where we acquired the rights to a rat model that uh, produces human antibodies, and that is now something that's available to the entire Roche group. 